probably wanted me to make sure I geared myself so that I could run the last 200 meters and so I, I kind of started that with 400 to go and when I got to 200 I just wanted to you know do what I usually do in practice and kind of just like start gearing and turning my engines a little bit and by the time I got to the last 100 I just wanted to give it all just like any other race and pull it all the way through. I wasn't too sure who was next to me but I knew I was like no one was with me the whole race so I feel like it's people that have a little bit of whatever to bring you know towards the end and so I just wanted to make sure I run all the way through the line. I do know Nikki was right on me um, with like 15 meters, 10 meters to go, and so I just wanted to push through. Um, I knew a PR was coming, so I'm not just happy with that. Can you confirm that it's Budapest is 800 only, or you're not sure? I cannot confirm. <laughs> what do you think the chances are that you would do the double, though? I don't know. I mean, Bobby has mentioned it numerous times this year, I believe, and so, I mean, we'll have a conversation. We'll talk about it, but I won't say that it's, like, not likely. But I also won't say that there's a guarantee that I'll do it. Um, we'll see um, how Bobby feels, and we'll see what our plans are going into Budapest. And yeah, but we're gonna take this one and see what happens with it. Yeah, well, is it definite that you would do the 800? 100 percent. 800 is a go for sure. <laughs> what was kind of the last thing you were thinking about before the gun go off in front of the line? I feel like I was kind of just going over exactly what Bobby told me, and he did. He said not to be surprised if I end up winning it. And so I kind of was just taking that, like, okay, like, let's just, let's just do it. I mean, it's just the final. I'm having so much fun doing it, and the pace was much slower than what we train at, and so just being able to be in this, it was just like, all right, let's go. The last run. What kind of pace do you train? A fast pace. <laughs> Not 70s. Yeah. Are you surprised they let you hang around, given that you'd be Olympic Who let me hang around? Well, the rest of the field. You know, that someone didn't try to push it a little bit faster. Oh, I mean... I was prepared to go out fast. I mean, I was prepared for someone to push it out 61. I mean, me just thinking that way. But I mean, I wouldn't even say I'm really surprised. I feel like when it comes to a final race, people start to get competitive and, you know, they want to race in a certain way to where they'll have the ability to come through at the end or they'll have the ability just to, you know, work through athletes and, you know, move with whoever moves. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I put myself in a position to where I knew I had something at the end and I wasn't leaving it to everyone else, um, like the semifinals where, you know, there was a kick at the end and I didn't have a whole lot to give. Um, so I kind of just wanted to make sure my pace, I was just doing whatever I do and just, I am kind of surprised, but I mean, everyone came through at the end as I expected and we finished the way we did. What? Training, you said that it took me a while to kind of get used to Bobby's training style. Yeah, I'm just curious, like, how early did you come into the realm of possibly was it discussed that right from the get go was something that over time, I guess, you know what, maybe we can go for this one too. I like the 15. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, Bobby has been talking about it. When we first got together, we talked about all three of my events, quote unquote, my events. And, you know, he's like, I haven't even reached my full potential. And I'm like, yeah, I really haven't. I've, you know, this is my first first year where I'm being intentional with my training, intentional with like pacing, just like where I'm racing, when I'm racing, what we're doing in practice. And so, I mean, from then, he's always thought like, you know, if you do the 15, it'll be really beneficial or, it'll, you know, it'll look good on you. And so it took a little while for me to convince my, or for him to commit, not for him to convince me, but for me to convince myself like, oh, okay, I'll actually do the 15 just because I haven't done it in a while. And it's like basically 200 more, I mean, two more laps in the 800. So obviously longer, but I mean, after I kind of committed to it, I was like, okay, I'm ready for it. We started training and I know I, as time went by, I started getting better and better at pacing and just doing what we did in practice. And so, I mean, from there I was just, Kind of set in stone to do it. How far out from, from this final? I mean, how long ago did you feel like this is a real possibility? Yeah, I mean, I was preparing to run at LA at the LA Grand Prix, um, the 15, anyways, and so I would say probably like six weeks before then, I was like, all right, I'm really running this race, so like it's gonna happen. We're really gonna do the 15, and so I would say six weeks out from LA Grand Prix, and since then I haven't lost the idea or thought. Are you gonna race between now and Worlds when it's on your schedule? Yeah, I'm not really sure yet. Um, we'll see. I mean, I feel like this is exactly what Bobby wanted me to do. Just come out here, train, get more strength, um, and be competitive and just have fun in the 15, see where it can take us. Obviously PR. And I mean, from here in Worlds, don't, not really sure. If we head out there a little early just to get some races in. I don't think it's that important, but again, we'll have a conversation after this and we'll kind of decide from there. When you said this is the first year you've been like intentional in training, what do you mean by that? How is it different from what you're doing for us? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like 
when you're a youth athlete, even high school, you do a lot of just training just to train. I mean, you can do like 200s that'll help you in the 800 just a certain pace. But I think now, being a professional environment, and sorry, and being with Bobby, he's very intentional with like every single race. So if we're doing, if we're training for a 400, we're gonna make sure we get speed. He's he's just very calculating. He's super smart when it comes to any event, and so. We don't just go out on the track just to go out on the track. Every single workout we do is intentional. It's being used for a specific event, and um, he's just really smart. And so I, I just trust everything that he's doing, and I know that whatever he puts me out there and whatever he tells me to do, it's actually working for X. How much do you like the 1500? I enjoy the 1500. I think it's pretty fun. Um, I literally came out. I mean, obviously, I had a little bit of race nerves, but overall, I just felt so free and just like... I, I don't even know why I'm at USA's right now. I've been talking, like, literally, it was like 6.07. Our call time was like 6.12. I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. I'm, I'm like, still delusional. When was the um, last time you had such little pressure on you? Bruh, I, it's, it's been a while. I even felt like there was pressure me running at the 800 in New York, even though it wasn't even that serious of a meet. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just really fun to just run, you know, be free. I mean, I'm sure no one really expected me to do too much, except for Bobby, because he, of course, he believes in me. But, I mean, it was just nice to just be out here and be the quote-unquote underdog and just show everyone what a thing well could do, you know, without them really assuming anything. Of those three events, 4, 8, 15, what is the most fun to you? Fun? I mean, I think the 15 was pretty fun. And I think it's just fun just because it's so long and you have so much more time to just do whatever. 400, you're literally spring the whole thing. I feel like you can't even think. 800 is fun because obviously I'm good at it, but those two races hurt way more than the 15 hurt. So I'm not saying I'm in love with 15, but it is enjoyable to do. And I think it's just because I'm quote unquote an underdog. What do you think is your ultimate potential in this event? I'm not, I really literally don't know. Um, I mean, I think I can go faster than I did today, uh, for sure. I definitely know that I can break four, but I, I feel like it's not just breaking four. I think we can go much further than that because we haven't put too much effort into training for the 15 this year. And so I think if we actually lock into it, um, we can progress a little more, get into more fast races. And I think just tra running with other people that'll actually push you, you know, through the duration of 15, it could, you know, something really great could happen. Yeah, you have to buy in the 800. Like, how much did you, did you ever consider not running the final today? Like, final 15? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Bobby kind of left it up to me. He's like, yeah, just let me know what you want to do. You'll either work out or you'll run on the track. So, I mean, I kind of, I went about my day as if I didn't even run the semifinal. You know, I was just chilling, hanging out, coming out to watch the races. And, I mean, I, th I think at the end of the day, I was just like, I may as well, you know, we'll see what happens. I, I'll definitely get into a faster race, so if I could PR again, I may as well. You know, I, I've run the semis, may as well run the finals as well. Got a PR out of it. I sh 13 seconds, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.